Is this not like the coolest sweatshirt ever? Like I just think it's so like awesome. Hello everybody, my name is Emmett and today I'm doing a review for the Rodeo SDP slash Packer Friendly Boxer Briefs. Anyone that watches my channel probably has seen the unboxing video that I've done for these so I'm not really going to talk about Rodeo as a company. You've probably already heard of them, you know what they do. Um, I'm just going to show you the underwear and um, talk about what I do and don't like about them. And maybe at the end I'll show you like what some of my different packers look like in these. So um, they just look like regular boxer briefs, you know. Um, let me back a little bit so you can see. Uh, these are the dark gray ones. They have a white waistband. And what makes these different than other boxer briefs is that they have a sewn-in pouch here. Um, so, go to the back. They have a sewn-in pouch here in the front. Um, and technically, this is the back of the pouch. The front has a smaller hole that your shaft would go through. Then you have this little pouch bit that your balls would sit in. And if you have an STP, then you have this larger hole here um, to put the uh, funnel or cup out of. Um, which seems like a great idea in theory, um, but I am going to show you why it doesn't really work out the best. Okay, so good things about these. Uh, this material... Uh, feels really nice. Um, I like it a lot. It's not uh, super slick like the athletic underwear is. I don't really care much for those. It's not really rough. It's very comfortable to wear. Um, the waistband doesn't roll up or roll down. Um, and I like that it has, I don't know if I can, there we go, like the little detail there with the O. It doesn't have like a rodeo across it in big letters. So if anybody saw this waistband, they they wouldn't know uh, unless they were looking really, really hard and were really, really familiar um, with the company and that they do put this on things. Um, so they're not like the other like harnesses that they do that have rodeo across it in big letters. Something else that I like about these is they do have a longer inseam. Um, they're not cut super short. Uh, I don't like underwear that are cut super short. I do prefer the legs of my boxer briefs to be a little bit longer because I feel like it keeps them from um, riding up more, and I really enjoy that. So these are very comfortable underwear. Um, and sadly, the part that makes these not great is their big selling point, is this pouch that they have for packers. And... The reason why is this pouch sets up really high in these underwear. I feel like if this pouch came down further, um, then it would be a lot better for packing um, and for STPs. Um, so you are limited in the size of packers that you can wear with these. My personal favorite, just basic soft packer, is the Real Magic 5-inch Uncut Basic Packer. And I will be the first to admit that that is kind of a big packer. Most people probably wouldn't be using one that big, but that is the one that I like the best. I really like Uncut Packers, and that was the one that felt the best to me. Um, it is too big to put in these underwear. Um, I mean, physically, you can put it in this pouch, but packing with it just isn't possible because this pouch does not hang down far enough. Um, and I'll show you what I mean later on when I show you what packers look like in these underwear. Um, but this part here is too close to this seam, and the top of the packer you have to kind of bow it up and kind of cram it in to make the packer fit. And it sits way too high up on your body and looks really unnatural. Uh, and even with smaller packers, they 
they fit a lot better in this. Uh, but it is still too high up and they sit too high on your body. Another issue, and now this is the front, this is where your packer would come out. The hole here that your shaft would go through is way too far down. You don't, it's right there on that seam that closes this pouch. That's as far, that that's as much room as you have for your balls. And the problem with that is this hole is down so far that your shaft doesn't actually stick through it. It kind of... <laughs> let me let me show you. Okay, so this is the Real Magic 5-inch basic packer in the soft texture. And yes, I know this is way too dark for me. I got this in their uh, clearance section. Uh, I don't care about the color because it's just a basic packer. Nobody sees it. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is my go-to daily packer. I know it looks really big, and it is kind of big, but it's super soft. I'll probably review this at some point. So I'm going to put this in this pouch, and I will show you what it looks like. And the pouch is completely closed at the top. The way that you get your packer or SDP in here is through the hole in the back, and I will touch on that also. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And here is the problem. That, that's the hole. That's as far as the hole goes. And now, with a basic packer, this wouldn't be that much of an issue. Because, you know, you're not going to be trying to take it out and pee with it. When you have an STP in this, it really is a problem. Because you can't get your shaft, like, positioned so that you can pee with your STP. And that's a really big problem. If this hole was up higher, then this would be completely not an issue at all. This would not be a thing. If this were up higher, then the shaft could come out naturally. You would be able to move it or position it how you want to, and you wouldn't just have it just poking out just a little bit. And this is even an issue with smaller packers. I have this same issue with the extra small Mr. Limpy in that it just kind of pokes out the bottom. And the other problem is, and this is a lot more evident with STPs, is this hole in the back. Um, I will actually show you what I mean by this. So just another second and I will get my STP that I use. Okay, so this is the STP that I use. This is the Free Tom Robin Hood. Um, and again, I'm going to put it in the packing pouch just like I did with the uh, Real Magic Packer. So I've positioned this so that you can actually, uh, the balls are a lot smaller on this so it is easier to pull the shaft through the hole um, but it is not sitting the way that I would normally have it. I did have to pull this down a lot farther than I would like be comfortable packing with it. But even then, it doesn't matter because this pouch sits up so high. But the real problem with this, and now this is the back, this is the part that would be touching you, is this. The hole is so restrictive that if you have an SDP like this, it makes it collapse. It's not doing so bad now, but when it's in your pants, this just, it makes your funnel collapse. If you have something sturdier than this, uh, you might not have that problem. But a lot of STPs um, tend to have this kind of setup. And if you pull on this at all, if you move at all, then your funnel just kind of collapses into this pocket because it is closed off here. So what I would have preferred to have seen um, and something that I think would make these a lot better because I think it's a great idea. I really do. I love the idea of having 
my harness built into my underwear so that it's not a separate thing. I think that would feel a lot more natural. And I think that a lot of people would agree. But the problem is, is this is up way too high. Your pouch isn't big enough. And instead of having this hole like it is in the back, I think it would be better to have like a U shape. Um, so you could still have like your closed seam here. But, and I know that this is probably, you know, to like keep your packer in, but your packer falls through the front hole anyway if it doesn't have like a big um, bit of material above the shaft. So this having a more open U shape so that the top of your funnel or whatever doesn't um, collapse into this pouch, I think would make this a lot better. And if this pouch were down further, like if it were longer. Um, so I will admit, I was really excited about these, but I haven't worn them at all because maybe it's just my body, I don't know but they just, they don't work for me and they don't work for my Packers or my STP. Okay, so I switched things up a little bit to give you this like white door so there would be more contrast, so you could see better uh, instead of like my dark bathroom area. So I will put a couple of different Packers in these underwear and show you what they look like. Okay, so the first one is the Real Magic 5 inch basic Packer in the soft texture and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what that packer looks like. Do you see what I mean by it being up way too high? I feel like it should be like further down and I don't know if you can tell but probably not because the waistband hides it but it's like I had to fold over the top to get it to fit and it's just it's up so high and this is as far down as it goes. Like, I can't make this go down any farther. That's just where it is. And I really don't know how... <laughs> I mean, it just... It doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. Because it's up way too high. But the next one I'm going to show you is the extra small Mr. Limpy. Everybody's familiar with this. Um, I don't feel like I really need to explain it. And these, ha it has the same problem as the first one. It's up way too high. And like even, like the Mr. Limpy extra smalls tend to be pretty ballsy anyway. But you can't really, even if you try to like position it differently, it's still up so high that it just looks weird. And it's like this with everyone that I try. Like... That's as far down as it goes. And it's still like that. Now the last one that I'm going to show you is the same STP that I showed earlier. This is the Free Time Robin Hood. And I'm just going to put it in here and show you what it looks like. And this is what this one looks like. It's still up. <laughs> Super high. And like guys, I'm really trying to make this work. Like, I'm not trying to make this like, look bad. I want to lock this pair of underwear so much. Like, I had plans to buy, like, a pair for every day of the week so I could have, like, a ton so I wouldn't have to wear harnesses anymore. Like, I want these to be good, but I just can't make them work. And like I said earlier, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's just, like, my body type. I don't know if it's the specific Packers and STP that I'm using. But no matter what I've tried to do with these, nothing sits the way it's supposed to, nothing looks natural, and nothing works. And that really sucks. So, I'm not telling you not to buy these, because maybe, maybe it's just a fluke, maybe it's just me. But I don't know that I could recommend them.